Mukite, hurry up. You don't meet the Emperor of the Universe every day, her impatient brother said in their language. They were grey aliens. What's the rush? He's nothing but another diplomat. These magicians all look the same to me, said Mukite. They all seem the same at first. When you get to know them, they are all different, like us, said Mishioga to her. Not long later, they met the Emperor, who was pleased to see them. Prince Jasper here, my great-great-grandson. He said he had never met a female Exoracian. I knew you had your sister here, Council Gar, said Empress Sapphira's Argent. Mukaiti curtsied politely in her dress. Prince Jasper was enchanted. This is Prince Jasper, said the Emperor, indicating Prince Jasper. This is my sister, Mukaitga, said her brother, introducing her. The moment this odd couple looked into each other's eyes, they were lost. Say hello to her, prompted the Emperor. Hello, Mukaitga, said Prince Jasper. He was so nervous he could hardly speak. I think he likes her, said the Emperor. Say hello to him, Miss Mukait, prompted the Emperor. Hello, she said coyly. You know, one of his ancestors came from Exoratia B, too. She was my nephew's wife. He never met her. He always loves to hear about your people, said the Emperor happily. Mukait blushed blue. Michio noticed she liked the prince a lot. Michio smiled. He thought a family linked to the emperor might be good not only for his job, but also for his sister. I think we should leave them to talk, said the emperor. If they can talk, said Michio, laughing, we can talk business. Come, Ga, said the emperor, leading Michio away. Hello, said the prince. Hello, replied Mukait. They just stood there, staring at each other for five minutes. Eventually, the prince got up enough courage to speak again. Do you want to dance? The prince forced himself to say. Yes, said Mukait, shying. They walked onto the dance floor and began to waltz. They felt shyer and happier when they were closer to each other. The other's touch was like an enchantment to the other. They felt like they were right together in each other's arms. They never wanted to stop dancing. They grew more and more in love the longer they danced silently. It was a sad moment for them both when Michio thought it was time to find his sister. To Michio's surprise, she was still with him, this time dancing with her. Mukait, are you still hanging around this alien? said Michio in the alien's own language. Not as an insult, he was just surprised. Prince Jasper is a very charming man, said Mukait. She flatters me too much, said the prince. It was obvious their infatuation for each other. I have a friend I want you to meet. He is my best friend, Aureus Argent, said Prince Jasper happily. He wanted to show them to him. Aureus appeared out of thin air beside him. You called me Doom, said Aureus. Doom, isn't that a bad thing, said Michio. He's called the King of Doom. He's a lady killer, and all the women he loves die, said Aureus. Who's the girl, asked Aureus, noticing the grey in the dress. My sister, snapped Michio, growing to hate both the prince and his friend, if you could call him a friend after that. Surely he isn't that bad. He's nice, said Mukait. He's drunk as a skunk, said the king, insulted. I just have dark visions that come true. I'm not a skunk. I'm the chicken, said the drunk Aureus. Chicken? Is he not a chicken? Is he a coward, as you call them? said Michio. The chicken was now insulted himself. You're lucky I'm a superhero. You would not survive that insult, said the chicken. Oh, shut up, you idiot. I like his sister a lot. I wanted to introduce you to them, not have you fighting him, shouted the prince in his friend's head. I'm sorry, I didn't notice. An ex Saracian bartender got me plastered, the chicken said in Doom's mind. Sorry, sir and miss, I am drunk. I didn't mean to offend, said the masked chicken. Come, Mukait, let's go, said Michio, who had no time for this drunk alien and his friend who he feared would kill his sister. No, wait, said Mukait, her heart tearing in two as she was dragged away. Look! That alien is dangerous. I will not let him kill you too, snapped Michio in their language. But I like him, said Mukait. It was obvious, Mukait, said her brother. Mukait was miserable for days and nights. A week later, she saw Doom again when she was walking out at night. They bumped into each other as he was chasing a criminal off a crime scene as a local superhero who helped out the police. He was in a tight formal suit, not his loose-fitting ceremonial robes, which hid his form a lot. Mukait's heart raced, and she liked this outfit more. He had knocked her to the ground. He was stronger and more handsome than he'd seen before. He didn't recognize her. He thought he knocked a human woman, so he stopped to help her up. A man dressed as a chicken ran past him. I'll get them, Doom! shouted back the chicken. Jasper, she cried, seeing Doom. He helped her up. Jasper, he said, puzzled. She stepped into the light from the shadows. He brightened up. Mukaita, he asked. 
Yes, his heart raced. He wanted to kiss her lips, but he just kissed her hand. It burned. I've missed you a lot. I was afraid I would never see you again, he said. She kissed his hand back, thinking it was what magicians did. His hand turned into a hand-shaped gaseous flame. He wasn't expecting that. It was his true form. He was distracted, and his human appearance spell broke. She was startled by its beauty. Sorry, my spell misfired, apologized the prince. It is beautiful, said Mukait. It is my true form. I tried to hide it, said the prince. You shouldn't. You are beautiful, said Mukait. Humans are scared of aliens, the prince said, his hand returning to human life. The chicken screamed in terror nearby. I better go save him. I am his protector, said Doom. I'll see you again if you like. I like, I love you, said Mukait. Good, I love you too, said Doom. See you again. With that, he ran off to save his friend. A human had seen them hugging, kissing, and unmasking in the shadows. He recognized Lance's costume and took photos. Lance just saw the man and snapped. Damn, that guy works at my dad's work. Where does he work? asked Mukate. The newspaper, said Lance. Oh, media, I saw your newspapers, said Mukate. That, that will be front page news for sure. Proof of alien life and it's in a relationship with the necromantor, said Lance. Not mentioning the elephant in the room and their family's reaction. Junior, how could you be so careless, said Lance's father, also called Lance, confronting his son for that scandal he had brought Mukate into. Dad, I didn't see him, said Jasper. Her brother doesn't like me. He thinks I want to kill Mukate, said Jasper. You did not kill her. You seduced her in the street, his father said. I had to see her again, said Jasper. Charlie recognized you and noticed who you were with was a grey alien in a dress, said Singer Singer article, saying a relationship made in the heavens for the picture they went with Jasper being unmasked. Even Lando couldn't suppress this, and he's the editor. Charlie went over his head. I didn't. He could do that, said his father. Mukait, how could you not only lie to me, but you saw that alien? Mishio said, shocked. I love him, said Mukait. Everyone knows that, said her brother in a disappointed tone. We didn't see the reporter till it was too late, said Mukait, embarrassed. You know he kills his love, said Mishio. My prince did not kill the reporter. He will not kill me, said Mukait. I don't think you should see him again, said her brother, not believing he wasn't a killer. Can't promise I won't see him, said McKate defiantly. There is a full house according to the front of house staff, said Zach Sandman, Jasper's partner in their stage magicians act in a theatre in Melbourne City. A scandal can really fill the house. He dematerialised, appearing in the foyer of the Exoration Embassy. He walked over to the front reception desk. Hello, I'm Lancelot Alexander Jonah. I'm here to see Michio and Mukait Gar, said Jasper nervously. I know who you are, said the receptionist. Hard not to know who you are. You are all over the news, Prince Jasper. Oh, said Jasper. The ambassador wants to talk to you. You should see him first, said the receptionist. Okay, said Jasper. The receptionist led him to the office, knocked and showed him in. Hello, Prince. I needed to talk to you about your delicate situation, said the ambassador. I'm sorry I didn't see the reporter, said the prince apologetically. This is affecting the peace effort on my home planet, said the ambassador. I'm sorry, said the prince. They think it's a power play of ex Zerakia B having a native trying to marry into the Galactic Emperor's family, said the diplomat. No, we are in love, said Jasper. Why didn't you court in private then, asked the ambassador. We couldn't. I have a housemate who's always home, and her brother was scared I was a danger to her because my housemate told him I kill women. I don't. He was drunk, said Jasper. Oh, said the ambassador, that is unfortunate. What are your intentions for her? I don't want to live without her, said Prince Jasper earnestly. Then there is only one thing we can do, said the ambassador. Pegmatite, the ambassador said to an intercom. Show them in. Them, Jasper said, expecting the men in black who hid alien contact with a hammer. In walked the receptionist with Michio and Mukait. Jasper's heart raced and he was nervous, not sure what this meant. I spoke to them before you, said the ambassador. Stay pegmatite. I need a witness. Jasper was confused. Lancelot Blake Valentine Alexander Drax, Prince Jasper Argent, said the ambassador. Miss Gar, stand beside him. Jasper was puzzled. Was he going to be censured? Do you take the hand of Mukait Gar, said the ambassador. Jasper took her hand in his, not sure why. In marriage, said the ambassador, noting the confusion. 
I do, said Jasper, figuring out what was happening. He was being married. Mukaitgar. Do you take the hand of Lancelot Blake, Valentine, Alexander Drax, Prince Jasper Argent in marriage? asked the ambassador. I do, said Mukait, looking into Jasper's eyes. You may kiss the bride, again, said the ambassador. Mukait and Jasper kissed. Later at Jasper's house. You sure took your time. The roast chicken is cold, said the chicken shortly when they arrived for tea. I had to buy a ring, said Jasper, and the jeweler had to fit it. Why would you want to do that, said the chicken. Mukait, please show him your ring, said Jasper. She did. It was a wedding ring on her wedding ring finger. It's nice, so, said the chicken. We're married, said Jasper happily. Married, said the chicken, figuring it out. Oh, mind if I don't kiss the bride? I have a cold sore, said the chicken, pointing to a large yellow blister on his lip, the yellow being Friar's balsam, which didn't help as it was supposed to. It just made his cold sore yellow and ugly. You kiss her for me, Junior, said the chicken. Jasper and Mukait kissed. Do you mind if she moves in? asked Jasper. Moves in? asked the chicken. In my room, of course, she's my wife, said Jasper. Of course, said the chicken. Mukait and Jasper kissed again.